Hello, hello, another topic you might roll your eyes because you think, wow, it's just all these cheesy positive things. Um, I'm in love with all these tools because you can use it when you want. You can use it to, to enhance your positive mood anyway. It's not meant to be when, when you're sad or angry that you pull over or, or, or make it like positive and go through your day like this and in the inside you're sad. It's really not about that. It's about having an awesome day. If you're like getting up like, uh, life is, life is hard, nothing severe. And then with the positive affirmation, you can, you can make yourself a really cool day because you choose to, I'm all about choosing. We are so free to choose our mood and our attitude in our day. And that's so beautiful, I think. So affirmations is, is not new to you for sure. Like we are used to negative affirmations like, oh, I'm not good at that. Oh, you can't do this. Oh, you idiot, you mess it up already. Or never trust a stranger. Or this is hard. All these things we say to ourselves regularly or maybe several times a day, these are affirmations too. And I want to convince you to rewrite them or choose another one, a positive one on, uh, on purpose. So you can say like, oh, I've never done that before, but I'll try and this will work out fine. That's an affirmation. It's just like a different mindset about something which could go wrong, but it could go right. So you focus on the could go right. So that's, that's basically everything again, like I'm done. You don't have to listen any further. You can say to yourself, I have my, my text here to, to sneak at, at it. Um, I give my best in every situation. That's an affirmation. Like you go in a, in a new situation that could be a meeting that could be whatever, a date. And you say, I give my best and that's enough. And I'm okay as I am. I don't have to play a role. I don't have to, to be different than I am, but like I give my best. Isn't that just simple, but very nice and, and a different feeling. It's like, yeah, I can do that. And step by step, I reach my goals. That's an, that's an affirmation too. So you're just not holding you back with your thoughts. You're, you're, motivating yourself, not pushing too hard. You can do that too, but like just motivate yourself and lift yourself up and make yourself a good day and, and bring yourself in a, in a swingy good mood to reach your goals, to have an amazing day, to, to feel good today. It's just so easy. I had a podcast, um, interview with a, with a guest he it's in in german but he made a film um when the road ends where the road ends you can find it online and he just won the the, the prize at the toronto film festival Pop, yeah i don't know the word in english like the the prize of the audience toronto film festival when the road ends and he's such a positive guy it's his name is Dylan Wickrama he's amazing and his quote is I'm just sure that we are here on this planet to have fun and I love that let that sink in like really it's hard my life is shit um I don't like my life if we think that this life is fun and should be fun what do we have to change to make it fun he, he did the, the film is about the movie is about his travels on his motorbike and you'll see the, the route, the route, the route where he goes through. It's without plan. He just sometimes he flipped a coin. Sometimes he just chose like left or right. How cool is that? He was on on his bike for three years in this kind of travel mode no plans, just like go with the flow. And then he met somebody and then he went to this village for a visit. Just 
fun, fun, fun. And of course it was hard and the film is so good. You have to watch it. It's, um, it was absolutely super dangerous and life-threatening at times, but it's like, wow. And you should meet him, go to their website. He, his uh, wife is Swiss and he's originally from Sri Lanka and these these two are just a power couple and so so cool with the mindset of let's have a nice and good day and and the the message of this life is just supposed to be fun and we have to try new things and go for it and risk also things to have an amazing life and that's really what i want with all my work to to nudge you to maybe poke you a little bit that you think about okay if this life is supposed to be fun what do i have to change and these positive affirmations are just a little idea in the morning to to change things up to stick them on post-it notes to write a little card to put it in your purse write it on your mirror, write it on your kitchen cupboard, like everywhere you can put positive affirmations and extra points for saying them out loud. Like in the morning, like today is a good day. Today I will make myself, make myself, make, create an amazing day for myself. That's just so cool. And then you can even tap on it. You remember the tapping Brad Yates on YouTube and then um, you can you can enhance your positive affirmation with tapping you can do so many things or you just say today is a good day and then you leave and you go out to the door you can choose you don't have to do things you don't like but i want to inspire you to try new things so that you all of a sudden have new tools like oh wow that's so cool and so helpful and i feel different and then you have to prove for yourself that this is working and then you use it forever or for a week or for for the time period which it feels right so i had um i looked up some affirmations on pinterest i put it on onto the blog that you can click on it and there is a ton of positive affirmations you will find them on google too like that you really choose one where you're like, oh, I like that. You have to be, you have to be thrilled to use that. Not like, ooh, that sounds so cheesy. Take affirmations you really like, like, oh yeah, I like this one. I like this one. So I have a list. Today I do my best. I am focused. Um, step by step, I reach my goals. I told that before. I am on my way to fulfill my dreams. How about that when you leave your home? I'm on my way to fulfill my dreams. If you're w during the day, you can use your affirmations too. Like you're maybe shopping for groceries today. I fulfill my dreams. Like, oh, what are my dreams? And then you, you are in a different mode in your brain than just like uh, groceries. Uh, there is a line uh, 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 like it's it's more fun. It's more fun. That's it. Use affirmations for focus, for fun, for determination, for a good feeling and for for like clarity what you want. And then your day is better. Your mood is better. You're a nicer um, person to be around as a partner, as a parent, as a co-worker. It's just so cool. If you take full responsibility for yourself, you are like intentionally creating your mood and choosing your feelings and choosing your thoughts and choosing what you say. And you can guess who is chosen for the promotion or for the cool project. If you're just a nice person to be around, it's so simple. And I know, of course, your situation might be different but you can influence yourself so much. And that's what I want, because isn't that nice when we can choose how we want to be and not somebody else is telling us how we have to be, not somebody else is telling us what we have to do. You choose yourself. 
and choose your affirma affirmation a uh, one one two three four five affirmations you really like like oh cool they sound cool go to the blog check check the text check my my uh, more consistent explanations than when i'm just talking and go to pinterest click on this link and just go and 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 surf around until you found your perfect affirmations okay and please tell me how it goes and how you like this and spread it with all put put this link on your facebook page and tell all your friends about this video if you like it of course and tell everybody about the Joyometer. I'm annoying, I know, but this is really a cool tool too. You can download the Joyometer for free. I put the link into the blog post too. And sign up for the newsletter so you don't miss a blog post or a pod podcast interview or a Joyometer design because in November it will be a different design. And I will post this into the blog too that you can read it through if you are interested in my week, but I'm more interested in your week because if you think through these points, like the highlights of my week, this made me very, very happy last week. My trick, my piece of wisdom, my life hack, I want to tell the world. This week I wrote down, take a deep breath, look around and just be. I was doing grocery shopping and walking home with these beautiful fall leaves and it was just like oh isn't that nice and and i was just taking it all in i didn't go home without looking around so that's my trick for the week very very um <laughs> difficult no not but that's what i'm preaching like the little things are the big things in our life yeah and then it goes on and on. I'm grateful for all this. Um, this person inspired me and that's why. So fill out this joyometer and you will feel a difference doing that week after week. And just thinking through your week in appreciation, in admiration. And um, that makes a difference. I hope that helps and that inspires you. I love you. Thank you for watching and see you next week see you in the free joy member club in the free facebook group see you wherever you hang out i love you you go for your positive affirmations go to the blog it's joyismycompass.com slash blog bye bye have a wonderful day